Here we go. Okay. Good. Hey, just want to talk to everybody a little bit about solo training, training on your own. First of all, don't think that you have to do some type of epic workout to end all workouts. A couple minutes a day really helps. A couple things that'll help. One, a little kitchen timer. You can time yourself rounds. Shadow box. If you shadow box plus jump rope, alternating rounds, it's a heck of a workout. Shadow boxing, you can do a bunch of ways. You can shadow box working slow, form, work your mechanics. You could shadow box, and in your mind, picture the biggest, baddest guy you, around in front of you and work your techniques and figure out how you would deal with that. Next thing I want to talk about, Along, alongside that, I know a lot of things I don't inter endorse a particular product, this I definitely do. Boss Root and CDs, if you get a hold of it, it's excellent. Shadow boxing workout for boxing, Muay Thai, MMA, and he's got a workout where you can buy shadow boxing and calisthenics. It's nice because you can scale it. it. You know, it goes either two or three minute rounds, and basically you could you could work up from doing one, two, three rounds up to seven or ten rounds. So that's a great idea. The other thing I picked up a little while ago. This is more technique, a little bit finesse. More reflex ball. Very cheap. I'm not an expert at it. I just started playing with it. What you do is you just work your punches against it. Ooh. I'm going to keep giving you ideas out there for different things you can do. I also want to, later on at my home, I'll show you some ideas from my home gym as far as stuff you can do for strength. You don't have to have a whole power rack, excessive weight set, that type of thing. It's nice if you do, but you can get away with a lot less. Hey, thanks everybody. I'll talk to you soon.